Welcome to my lecture online. As you'll be able to tell, there are a lot of things to be defined when we're dealing with the null hypothesis or alternative hypothesis or just doing a hypothesis test. There's a lot of things we need to understand. So the next thing we need to understand is what we call the critical region. Now we've been drawing the critical region but not specifically stating it as the critical region and defining it as such. It's that small little region at the end of the distribution of the population that's called the critical region. So here you can see you only have one critical region on one side. You could also have one critical region on the other side. We call that doing a one-tail test. We only have to worry about the population distribution and whether or not what we call the test statistic falls into that critical region or not. It could be on the right side, it could be on the left side. If there's only one of them, we call that a one-tail test. We only have to worry about testing it on one side, the left side or the right side. But we could have a two-tail test where the test assistant could fall in the critical region on the right side or in the critical region on the left side. Now notice the definition says that the critical region is the set of values. So it's a set of values. This region here represents a set of values of the test statistic that allows us to reject the null hypothesis or that tells us not to reject the null hypothesis. So if the test statistic falls within the critical region, we will reject the null hypothesis. So the critical region is defined in terms of the z-score. So here you begin to see the z-score. Remember the z-score is a number that gives you the quantity of standard deviations. So here we have one standard deviation, two standard deviations to the right of the mean of the population. So here would be the z-score equal to one, there would be the z-score equal to two. Notice that the boundary of the critical region is just to the left of two sigmas, let's say 1.96 sigmas, so that gives us a z-score of 1.96 for the boundary of that region and any z-score greater than that. So the critical region in this case on the right side of the two-tail test or the distribution that has two critical regions would indicate that the critical region starts at z equals 1.96 and anything greater than that. And over here the critical region starts at z equals minus 1.96 because we're to the left of the, the mean of the population and any number to the left of negative 1.96. In this case here we have the critical region that starts at z equals 1.65, so it's a little bit further to the left compared to this one, and every number greater than that. So again, if the test statistic is a number greater than 1.65, you'd fall into that critical region. And once you fall into the critical region, you will reject the null hypothesis. So now you will notice that there is a relationship between the critical region and the level of significance. Remember the alpha, the level of significance? So let's say we have a level of significance of 5%, 0.05. In this case, since we have a two-tailed test, that gives us 2.5% on the right side and 2.5% on the left side. Essentially, that says that 5% of the distribution of the population falls in that critical region. So if you take a sample, and that sample gives you a test statistic that puts you in that 5% of the total distribution of the population, then you're far enough away from the characteristics of the population defined by the null hypothesis that you say, I'm going to reject that null hypothesis. In this case, we also have a level of significance of 5%. Again, remember, we can change that level depending upon the need of the problem. But if we set it at 5%, 0.05, then again, you see that 5% of the total distribution falls to the right of this line right here, where z is 1.65. That represents 5% of the distribution of the population. So that's, again, the critical region. And notice the relationship between the size of the critical region and the level of significance. Now here again is the equation to calculate the test statistic. It's equal to the difference between the mean of the sample, the random sample that we take, and the mean of the population. We take the difference and divide that by the standard deviation of the population. That's by itself divided by the square root of the sample size because all that makes a difference. And then finally, we have to make a decision to reject or not to reject. And that depends upon the size of the 
test the cystic relative to the size of the z-score of the edge of that critical region. So, if t is bigger than 1.65 in this case, t would fall to the right inside the critical region. That means we would reject the null hypothesis. Over here, if t falls to the right of z equals 1.96, let's say z was 2 or 3, then we would reject it. Again, we would reject the null hypothesis because the test statistic falls in the critical region, or if the test statistic is a number smaller than minus 1.96, because we're on the left side, let's say minus 2, minus 3, then we'd also reject the null hypothesis because, again, the test statistic would place us in that critical region. So remember, the size of the critical region depends upon the level of significance that we chose for the particular problem. It also depends upon whether or not we have a two-tailed or one-tailed test, put all the critical region on one side or on both sides, it could be left or right side. And then when we calculate the test statistic, we compare that to the edge value of the z-score of that critical region to determine if we should reject the null hypothesis or if we should not reject what we call fail to reject the null hypothesis. And again, with some examples later, all this will make more sense, but now we just need to get through the definitions and how the definitions affect the way we look at things before we start calculating these, otherwise we're going to get confused if we don't have a good handle on these definitions. So now at least we know what we mean by the critical region. <laughs> Are you listening at all? <laughs> <laughs> the critical region, yes, very critical. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very critical. 